Welcome back to Happy Place Cooking. Today I am going to be making a no-bake peanut butter brownie cheesecake. Mostly I'm doing this because I have a bunch of this cream cheese that has been sitting in the refrigerator for a little longer than probably I would like. It is still good, but I need to get it used before it is not good anymore. Cream cheese does not last forever. I have about eight ounces of cream cheese here. I'm going to mix in three-fourths cup of creamy peanut butter. Then I'm going to add in a third cup of sour cream. One cup of powdered sugar. And I'm going to gently and try not to get the powdered sugar all over the place. Mix this up. Now I'm going to go a little bit higher. Now I'm going to add in some of these brownie bites. These are Mrs. Fields, uh, I think they're called dessert toppings. I think they're probably made for like, you know, ice cream sundaes and stuff, but they work great in like pies and I've used them in overnight oats and stuff too. They make also like a birthday cake flavored one and stuff like that. I'm just going to fold those in. And I only added a half a cup. If you want more, you could add more. I think that's going to be sufficient. Now, I am doing this the super easy way. Since this is a no-bake, let's keep it completely no-bake. I have an already made pie crust and this one is a chocolate and I am just going to add my mixture to this. Should make a fairly decently thick pie. Just going to smooth that out into the shell. Once you get it all smoothed out the way you like, if you want, you can totally top this with some whipped cream. Um, I chose not to. I don't have enough whipped cream in the freezer and I have no heavy cream so I can't make my own. I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it's fine, but I do think I'm going to put a little bit of topping on top of it. I'm just going to sprinkle around some of these mini chocolate chips just to give it a nice kind of decorative look, I guess. Just sort of adds to it a little. You could use sprinkles if you wanted. I think all I have are like holiday colored, so I don't have like chocolate sprinkles. So that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to cover it. And I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for probably two to three hours and let it get nice and chilled and set up. And then I'll come back and I'll give it a taste test. There it is. It looks good. I'm going to give it a taste test. See what it tastes like. That's really good. I was kind of afraid there wasn't going to be enough peanut butter in it. Maybe could have stood to use a little bit more. I guess it kind of depends how much you love peanut butter. Jesse really loves peanut butter. He might think it needs more. But I think the brownie bites go very well with it. Mm hmm I'd make it again. I think I would add a little more peanut butter next time. Maybe go with the full cup instead of just three-fourths a cup. But it's really good. Really easy. Didn't take very long. Great dessert. Thanks for watching. Happy eating.